Hey guys, Captain Foley with you. It's Mirror Universe time, and the reason I say that is, no, I'm not building a Mirror Universe model, but today is all about Star Wars. I wanted to share with you some of my Star Wars models in lieu of the video I just posted, uh, which is Star Trek versus Star Wars, why, why can't we just get along kind of thing. Um, so I wanted to show you the Star Trek models I've done in the past. This is my Millennium Falcon. This was done quite a long time ago. Um, early 20s, maybe? So, almost 20 years ago. This was uh, my first attempt at weathering. And I think I did a pretty good job. The, uh, this was done with how I just did the weathering on my Space Seed uh, Botany Bay. The same technique, just using brushes. Uh, no airbrushes were used, just regular brushes. Some of this aging here is just from, well, age. That yellowing, uh, it shouldn't really be there, but it adds to the piece as far as I'm concerned. So, I just wanted to share with you some of my other models. Got some broken landing gear here. But... It's got the blue engine at the back. Oh, just lost the radar dish. Sorry, guys, just had to set you down there for a second. So, there's my Millennium Falcon. I am definitely of the opinion that um, Star Trek, you can like Star Trek and Star Wars. I don't know why people say you can't. Um, this turns. Got a little bit of a tirade about it in my last video, um, which is Star Trek vs. Star Wars. So check it out and let me know your thoughts. So there's my Millennium Falcon. Then I went for years and years and years and years without modeling, or model building, sorry. And I had this kit sitting around for a long time. And always kind of afraid to build it because it seemed daunting at the time. But so this is my X Wing. And like I said, I was years and years and years without modeling. And then I got, you know, moved into a new house and was like, well, I'm kind of bored, whatever. Why not get into something I like, enjoy doing in the past, which is building models? So I pulled this one out of storage, The it was in the box and everything, and um, decided I'd build it. And this one is supposed to have, well first of all it's got lights, and it's also supposed to have a working canopy, so you hit one of the switches and the canopy opens, and I hit another switch and the wings are supposed to go from regular to attack formation. But when I flick my switch, I don't know if it's because of the circuitry is old or whatever, all I get is lights going on. So I'm going to quickly turn off the lights now so I can show you that. I'll be right with you. Okay, so I turned off the overhead light. I'm going to now turn off this light and I'm going to turn on the lights on the X-Wing here and we're going to take a look at it. So hold on a second. Light off. And the X-Wing lights are on. Now, I don't know how well this is going to work. Let me turn this. So we got our engine glow at the back. And then moving up, we got the cockpit. If it'll focus on it. So there's red and green in there. Sort of see the pilot. Yeah, it looks a lot better in person. You can see you way like a lot more. So let me just turn those lights back on. So 
so there you have it guys um, yeah the motors in this I don't know if the motors aren't working but this canopy is supposed to go up it's connected to a motor uh, this thing is also supposed to have sound effects the whole nine yards but only the lights work and I for the life of me don't know why I'm not good with electronics I don't understand wiring or anything that's why it was a big deal that I did my 350 scale as good as I did because I know nothing about wiring or electronics or anything but I kinda wanted you to take a look at this and get some a look at the detail in there this is the first model I had built after years of not building models so I'm pretty proud of myself and what do you think about that I'm a huge Star Trek fan but the first model I build after years of hiatus is an X-Wing. I like it too. I love the weathering on this. Same kind of deal. Just use brushes and uh, turned out pretty good. So you guys have it. What do you guys think? That's my some of my Star Trek models. Just wanted to share that with you guys and show you that there is love for the Star Wars. I believe very strongly that you can like both. I don't understand why Star Wars fans are so hateful of Star Trek. So I just wanted to share that. So check out my video Star Wars versus Star Trek and let me know what you guys think. I will talk to you in the future. This is Captain Foley out. Mirror Universe, weird.